So welcome to another Java program tutorial and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to export this program uh, export it as a jar and then be able to run it with a batch file so you're not really going to need any batch experience of this since it's just going to be copying and pasting um, so yeah I'll put the code in the description as well so just create a basic uh, project and I've just made this display the text hello world and it doesn't need to be anything fancy just anything basic um, once you've got that, we can go into File, Export, uh, choose the Java folder, Runnable Jar File, press Next, uh, select the project, so Tutorials, Pythagoras is just a Pythagoras thing I was working on earlier, um, then choose the Export Location, I'm going to be saving it into a folder called Java, just keep uh, .jar and .zip selected, Call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it one because it's just a random number. Um, and then once you've done that, just press finish. Now what that's done is it's just exported that file into our Java folder in the Java directory under my documents. So here I've got this file called one, and you see if I just run this, nothing happens. It's actually running already, pretty much in the background without us seeing it. So what we need to do here is we need to um, we need to run it using a batch file. So just open Notepad or Notepad plus plus or whatever you want. Then in here, what we're going to do is just paste this in. Now this will be in the description below. Um, let me just walk through it. What this does is we're just telling it to run Java. Um, here we're telling it uh, how much memory, how much RAM to allocate to it. Now we actually don't need a gig here, um, let's just put 512, we don't even need that to be honest. But I'm going to allocate 512 megabytes. So just put 512 here, 512 M in both of these. I believe one of them is minimum, one is maximum, something like that. Then here we're going to have um, the location of the jar file we're running. So this is one.jar and don't worry about the rest of this. So just save this in that same folder uh, oops it's in this java folder and just save this as launch.bat or something like that has to have dot .bat at the end now I'm going to go into my documents here and we can just double click on this and here you see we've got it's just run that code and then now it's saying hello world because that's what we made our program to so that was a quick tutorial on how to uh, how to run your program, how to, no not how to run it, how to export it and then run it using a batch file. So thank you for watching this tutorial, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.